It's November 3rd, 2020, and you know what that means. Four more years! Wait, we're not talking about the election. Okay, go out there and vote. It's probably really important, I will say that. But, we're talking about Anthony Mantha today because he re-signed with the Detroit Red Wings. It is a four-year contract from the ages of 26 to 30 years old. The Red Wings have pretty much just taken what is Anthony Mantha's career. They said, okay, Anthony Mantha, you're probably going to play the best hockey of your life in the next four years. So, what are we going to do? We're going to take a look at those four years, and we're going to lock them up right here. And the average annual value is $5.7 million. That's great. That's really great. It's early in the morning here in Vancouver. The lawnmowers are going outside like crazy. It's raining out here. What beautiful news for me to wake up to. I don't usually wake up this early, but when I do, it's usually for a good cause. So for Anthony Mantha, a guy who was one of the best players on the Detroit Red Wings last season, he was just under a point per game on the Red Wings last season, which was a terrible team. There's so much potential here going into the long-term future, and we all kind of knew that. And all this stuff about potential offer sheets, whether or not there would be a team that would go out there, offer this guy the moon. We knew the Red Wings were in a position to match whatever offer sheet he would have been given. But all that stuff, it's out the window now because he has been officially locked in. So honestly, it's just so cool seeing how Steve Iserman has gotten together and built this Red Wings team. We noted in earlier videos talking about how exactly the Red Wings want to ice a team this year. Sure, building up their prospect pool, their repertoire on draft picks, that is very important. But icing a team was as important too. Now you're in a position where you re-sign Tyler Bertuzzi to that pretty good deal. You got all these free agents, Bobby Ryan's coming in here, Troy Stetcher's coming in here. You got your goaltending duo in Grice and Jonathan Bernier, and now all you have to do is re-sign Dmitro Timishov, who is currently in RFA, and you still have about nine-ish million dollars of cap space to do it. So, there's a whole bunch of good going on here for the Detroit Red Wings. Manta is signed until 2024. His contract is now the longest serving contract on the Red Wings. Second longest is Dylan Larkin, who takes him until 2023. And now, next offseason, this is where Steve Eiserman will really have a playground to absolutely just go ham. Helm is off the books. Philpula is off the books. Glenn Denning, Ryan, Sam Gagne, Mark Stahl, John Merrill, Alex Biega. You got a whole bunch of stuff that's going to go on here with this Red Wings organization for 2021-2022's offseason. But for now, aside from Dmitro Timoshev, all the big pieces have been taken care of. Anthony Mantha, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen, he has been locked up for four years. This is great. Talk to me in the comments what you think about Anthony Mantha's new contract. I certainly do think it's great. I hope you enjoyed this video. That's Trolls 99. And bye. <laughs>